Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to the 1st of December and our first album for Rock 2022 AU in December. Our last month of our year-long make-along. Can you believe it? We've been going a year and we've explored some great music genres. The year has flown by. Sorry for the artificial lighting. It's dark outside and it's starting to rain. If it gets a little noisy, that's because the rain is getting heavier. But I am happy to see the rain. I'm sick of dusting. There's so much dust around. Anyway, we'll review November. November, we covered iconic bands such as the Beatles and Rolling Stones. And it was well received and some great memories shared with us in the comments. So I appreciate that. I appreciate all the comments, I do read them and I do enjoy them. Some very different and awesome pictures posted for the month of November. Not as many as usual as we get towards the end of the year, but we're still doing okay. So don't forget, there's a participant prize draw for November at the end of this video. Make sure you watch it right through and congratulate the winner. So let's get into December. Well, the obvious thing for December would be Christmas music, wouldn't it? Well, we covered Christmas in July with Elvis Presley Christmas music. And I did that deliberately because I didn't want to do Christmas music in December because I actually get quite tired of hearing it. Everywhere you go around our little town is Christmas music, shopping centers, restaurants, um, offices coffee shops, you name it, they're playing Christmas music. And by the time Christmas comes around, I'm really quite tired of it. So we're not doing Christmas music in December. However, I will put a very brief playlist of Christmas Australian music for you guys to check out. Because our first album might not be something you want to listen to. So December, I decided I would explore music Reeves likes to listen to. Ribs has been very helpful with the Rock 2022 AU. Artistically, his music knowledge, he's been really enthusiastic. And I thought, why not explore the sort of music he listens to? And he's a lot younger than I am because he's my son. He's, and it's interesting. So they do say that you should try something new every day and um, broaden your horizons. So Reeves listens to everything from Paula Abdul. Pavarotti was his first vinyl record he ever got to heavy metal, death metal, Norwegian metal, black metal. I didn't know there was so much metal music out there. But I did say to him, go through your record collection, pick one of your favorites with a great artistic cover. So what are we going to be exploring on the 1st of December? Well, it is Iron Maiden. The Killers album. Mainly, he's got uh, three, I think, Iron Maiden albums. Mainly this one because he thinks the cover artistically is amazing. It's quite gross and gruesome, he says, but it has a lot of color, color and a lot of feature in it. I don't know why I keep getting that pink flare, but there you go. There's greens, yellows, pinks. I think somewhere down here there's a bit of orange, but it is an interesting cover to inspire you if you still need inspiration. That is the back cover, lots of orange. So Iron Maiden, The Killers album. So I've done a bit of research after talking to him about Iron Maiden. Here goes. Iron Maiden are an English heavy metal band formed in Leighton, East London in 1975 by primary songwriter Steve Harris. He formed the band. As pioneers of the new wave of British heavy metal movement, which is why Reeves says they're iconic, Iron Maiden achieved initial success during the early 1980s. After several lineup changes, the band went on to release a series of UK and US platinum and gold albums. In 1981, the Killers album was released, and it is the only Iron Maiden album to feature two instrumental song tracks. As of 2021, the band's catalogue sold over 200 million copies worldwide, including albums, singles, compilations and videos. 
As of 2022, Iron Maiden have sold over 130 million copies of their albums worldwide, despite minimal radio and mainstream media support. By 2022, their releases have been certified silver, gold and platinum around 600 times worldwide. Iron Maiden have become one of the most influential and revered rock bands of all time, helped spawn an entire genre of music. Critics have stated the band elevated heavy metal to an art form, proving that ac ac academic and musical inspirations can coexist. The band is also hailed as one of the greatest live acts of all time. So there you have it, Iron Maiden. Now I'm, I will do a music playlist, but I'm not sure it'll be enjoyable for everyone, but at least listen to one track because it is good to broaden your horizons. I have heard him play this. Some of the music he listens to that's heavy metal, I don't mind. He has someone else that I quite enjoy that's really quite heavy. But yes, Iron Maiden. Madonna, do you like Iron Maiden? Because I think this would be right up your alley. In summary, with December being the last month, if you're doing squares and it's time to join them, feel free. If you're doing a blanket that needs a border, feel free. Don't feel you have to do a new project or square. You can post the pictures of your finished objects. You can even email them to me so I can do a photo montage in January when we finish the make along. That would be awesome if you could email me your finished objects and I could do a photo montage montage on YouTube. Just give me permission to use them. My email address will be in the description below. But to inspire you, there are lots of colours in the album cover to get you started. I'm not sure the music will inspire you, but you could listen to the music list. And if nothing else, you can listen to the Australian Christmas music I've listed below. So the 1st of December, it's open to whatever you want to do. If it's time to wind up your project, feel free. There'll still be a participant prize draw, uh, but I'm going to do that on the 2nd of January, along with a major prize draw for someone throughout the year who met the requirements of posting pictures. So don't forget, post your pictures with the hashtag rock2022 on our Facebook group or on Instagram, or email me your pictures. Let's see if we can't finish off with December and the whole year with a big bang and a lot of photos. Having said that, next year's make-along. There will be a video coming out soon in the next week, I hope. I've decided on a theme. There's a lot of planning. I've worked out a budget. But this make-along next year will only run for six months, from the 1st of January to the 30th of June. I think that suits me and suits most of the subscribers. Same sort of rules, two draws a month, participant prize, major draw. So make sure you check out the video for the 2023 Make Long. I've just got to decide on a hashtag. Guys, I hope you're still enjoying Rock 2022 AU. I hope you do check out Iron Maiden and have some fun and listen to something different. So until next time, stay safe, stay well. There goes the rain, it's gonna get louder. Yay! Have a great day and remember, trying something new will broaden your horizons. Bye for now. Welcome to November's participant prize draw for Rock 2022 AU. There are only 13 names on the wheel. This is less than previous months. However, good luck everyone. Congratulations, Deborah Womack. I think this is pressure and life and stuff with Deborah. So congratulations, make sure you congratulate her. Deborah, if you can email me and let me know you have seen the prize draw and I will organize you a $25, I think you're in the USA, 
Amazon gift voucher. Thank you for participating. I hope you continue with December and you find the opportunity to try some new music by listening to Iron Maiden. Bye for now.